Alright people, you know the drill. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this bikini top. Wow, that was like magic, wasn't it? That transition though. Um, anyway, here is a little clip of the bottoms. I showed you guys this bikini in a recent video and I got a request to make it. So yes, this is how you make the top and I'll link that video also in case you want to see how to make the bottoms. Oh, also I didn't film it when I was making it out of this fabric. So I'm going to show you how I made it out of this other red fabric and I'll link both of those below. The red one is actually a sustainable fabric made from recycled plastic. And this one is from like one of my favorite places to buy swimwear fabric. So I'll link those plus some of my other top spots for fabric. Also, I just wanted to take a second to officially welcome you to this video and say thank you for being here. It truly means so much to me. And if you like it or find it helpful, if you try it out, please uh, help your girl out too and subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment below, um, tell me if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to make, and just give me your feedback. I'd love to hear it. But let's get to the video. So that's how the final product will look up close. And as usual, let's start off with the materials that you're going to need. Make sure to check the description box below because I linked everything that I could in there and all my favorite places for fabrics and stuff. Now, first things first, in terms of sewing, I started by making a pattern and this is something I normally don't do but it really makes the process easier if you have a way to do it. A lot of the time I like to just eyeball it, and even when making a pattern, I don't make it exactly perfect. So just take any bra or swimsuit you already have that has a similar shape to this top, and then you can just make your own pattern with whatever paper you have on hand. And I even had to like extend it a little bit at the top to get the length right, but otherwise you should be able to make this with whatever you have at home. So just trace around what you have, leaving extra space so that you can size it later on. I also just used an existing swimsuit to determine how long I should make the band around the chest. So once you've done that, you can just cut out a piece for that, which I made a few inches wide. It should be long enough that it can wrap all the way around your elastic at the bottom a couple of times because it's going to have to go over it and then around and then you have to tuck the fabric in. So make sure it's a few inches wide. Then of course, just use your pattern to cut out all of the fabric. And since this fabric is pretty thin, I also cut out some lining fabric as well, which I didn't show you, but I did that also. And then I made the straps on the back just about as long as the front part is. They really don't need to be too long. So cut out four pieces of fabric like that too. And it doesn't have to be exact in terms of width. I think I made it like two or three inches wide. So those are all of the final pieces that you're going to need. Now, as you can see, I already pinned one side and now I'm going to show you how I put that together. So you'll have your three pieces, the lining and two regular pieces of fabric. Make sure to put the lining fabric at the bottom and then put the other two pieces together, right sides together. And then you're just going to pin all the way around the side. But before we sew that together, there will be a separate step. So I'm going to show you that next. <sighs> Now that you have it all pinned together, and actually you can do this before pinning it, but for whichever piece will be in front, you're going to do a base stitch on top and then pull that so that it's a little ruched, and that's because I wanted it to be a little gathered at the top and have that effect going on, so you can do that or not. The first time I made it with the cherry print, I did not, um, but this time I decided to just to, you know, make that a little more noticeable. Then I took my straps and I lined it up with the top on each side, and then I pinned the rest of the sides and sewed all the way along the sides, leaving the top and bottom parts open. That's how it'll look once you're done sewing, and then I just went ahead and used my loop turner to flip everything right side out. You don't need one, obviously, that just makes it a little bit easier and faster. So that's what I did. Go ahead and flip it right side out. Afterward, you're going to add your padding and then we can move on to the next step. Now for this padding, I was actually out of like actual good padding. So I just literally used like a felt strip that I had at home, but make sure to use real padding because I feel like it, it makes it look a little bit weird, but whatever, that's what I had and it, it worked. 
Now you're going to use the chest piece uh, that you cut out earlier and make sure to mark where the middle is and pin it in place and then you're just going to sew it along with your elastic. You can do this in two separate steps if you want, that makes it a little bit easier. Here's how to look once it's done. Now you're just going to wrap like that chest strap underneath and flip it over until you can't see it and then pin it in place all the way along the bottom. I don't know if that made sense, but you pretty much just sandwich your elastic in between with that fabric and that's how it'll look once you're done sewing. And here I again just used whatever swimsuit I already had on hand to figure out the sizing when I was adding my closure. And then you're just going to sew that on and sew the other side closed with a couple of openings so that you can play with the sizing when you have it on. And then you're pretty much almost already done. Now all that's left to do is attach the straps. I did it in a crisscross pattern, but you can do it straight down, whatever you prefer. Moving on to the scrunchie, super fast. I didn't have a lot of fabric left, so I just cut out this very uneven piece of fabric. And it doesn't really matter because a scrunchie is, I mean, you won't be able to tell when you have it on. And then I cut out some elastic. And the first step after that is just to fold over the edge of your fabric and sew that in place. And once you've done that, you're going to fold it over lengthwise and sew it together, right sides together. Um, you can do a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. It doesn't really matter because it won't stretch all the way out since it's already scrunched up. I just did a straight stitch and then I sewed the elastic together. And once you're done with that, you can just stick one edge inside of the other and sew across there and you're all done. So there we have it, the final product with bikini top and matching scrunchie.